on. Uh, with all this stuff that's going on, you know, right now, the whole disarmament, they're about to chop off the internet, uh, basically, potentially, with this, uh, TTP situation, and, uh, it's like, and you, and you think to yourself, man, why would these people, like, people can't believe that their own citizens, their own government, their own army would disarm them and take them to internment camps and things like this. But a lot of you people are unaware of these these subjects here. And one of them is called Rex 84. Rex 84, when the time when it was made, they thought the Black Panthers and Mexican Mafia, things like that, were the ones that were going to take over the government. At least that was their war game in their mind, their mindset. They were just doing a think tank of how they could stop them just in case they do try it. Because plus, it's like they know, people know you can only pimp people uh, for so long before there's some kind of revolt. You know what I'm saying? It's just the way it is. Uh, but... In this Rex 84, it outlined how they were going to have incinerator, nuclear incinerators on the railways to get rid of the bodies because Hitler got bottlenecked because they couldn't burn the bodies faster than they could burn, or, or uh, kill them. So, the net, uh, another part of this was how they were going to use black leaders like Al Sharpton to either quell the revolution but now it looks like they're using them to foment them so they have a reason to kill them, to get them on them trains, to take them to the the nuclear incinerators, okay? Ooh. Uh, so, this, this, this part is pretty, uh, it's pretty relevant. But this is the most important part right here. It said they were going to use, like, black soldiers on the black population so that the black people would be less likely they'd listen to them. And they were going to use the Mexican population on the Mexican likewise and so on and so on. And they were going to disarm everyone. Take them to the camps. And then once they get them in the camps, then they take the guns from all the blacks and all the Mexicans that helped get people put in the camps. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being racist here. I'm just telling you, it was basically, listen, it was racist. Whoever made that was really racist, and they want to kill the minority quick. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's what the document says, Rex 84, the King Alfred plan. You know what I'm saying? That's what's called the King Alfred plan. And uh, you can see it's linked up in continuity of government, which was uh, spoken of by Oliver North during the Oliver North hearings. Uh, so this is all freedom of information the, the information is out here it's just like the iron mountain report is like identical silent weapons for silent war is identical i mean it's all the same schematic but just working it from different angles this overall the final revolution is basically what it's working up to and to tell you the truth here's the thing the indians okay uh one of the, one of the last uh free tribes you the you get is the comanche and the Comanche were basically all, ca uh, all like cavaliers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or cavalry. Uh, they all rode horses, were adept horsemen, and they knew the land so they could hide. And the only way they could take these guys down was to hire scout Indians from either their tribe or rival tribes that know their lands and them too, and use them. They use them the same way they're going to use the black and the Mexican soldiers to round up their population. But then once these Indian scouts ha helped take the people in, they took their gun and threw them on the reservation too because they were a liability now. So basically, this crip who sold these bloods out, after he helps the cops get these niggas in jail, then they throw them in jail with the guys he just got. He helped get rounded up. I mean, in, in a modern sense, cowboys and Indians, cops and robbers, it's the same paradigm all over and over again. Republicans and Democrats, communists and capitalists. It's just all the same shiz nizzle. I mean, uh, it is what it is. I'm, I'm just saying that is historical, accurate information. I mean, is it 
did I show you the documents? No, but you can go find them. They're out there and you can read them for yourself and see like, whoa, yeah, this guy didn't lie not once during that whole thing. And uh, that's the confidence that you have in knowing the truth and seeing the things for yourself and knowing you did the studies. So, so people can't come up to you and say, man, you're just crazy. You're paranoid, man. You're overthinking. You think too much. It's like, no, I maybe I do think too much, but you don't think enough, my friend. And you are unaware of these things and you should be aware because these people 30, 40 years ago made detailed documents of how to set everyone up. And they are extremely prejudiced against minority groups and even, hey, low class uh, hillbilly folk white. I mean, so it's listen, don't think that they're all the bad guy neither because that ain't the truth. That's that they even these royal Illuminati bloodlines types love to. Uh, pin us against them you know what i'm saying even though some of them may come from them but i've seen like this dude i seen him do a documentary about his father from johnson and johnson and he kind of showed how they're all just rich hypocrites so i mean even sometimes out of uh, someone has a you know a change of heart and they spill the beans on because they're an insider so don't don't i mean you can't if someone wants to defect from the dark side don't uh, everyone attack them while they're weak. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like kind of like in that movie American History X where dude got dissed by the whites. But the blacks wanted to kill him because he was a racist. But the one black dude said, uh, just leave him alone. Let him roll solo. And he got to roll solo. You know what I'm saying? For a while. I mean, until... Uh, and then after he gets out of prison, he's out speaking against the thing that he was just in. And you got to give people the... The freedom over here on this side, like if you're a whistleblower, where do you go? Well, we should be out here protecting them. You know what I'm saying? At least by protest or just, uh, yeah, by protest. And I don't mean rioting. I mean protest. I mean, uh, you know, just uh, telling people, making a bit, keeping a buzz about it, man. Keep complaining to the, the powers. You know what I'm saying? So that they have to recognize the problem. You know what I'm saying? That's one way to do it. But you need somewhat of a clean record. To have your credibility be good. Though my cause is correct and great. My record sucks. So everyone just goes right to my record. Say he can't be trusted. Why? Because I'm a criminal. You know what I'm saying? Or I've been, you know, I've committed criminal acts. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was a merchant. You know, just basically. Street merchant. You know. Uh, at least I was out, you know. I, did, I mean, I had a lot more uh, ethics than some of these people that are in power do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not say you know everyone's got their things, man. So you know you can trust everyone to an extent, or you can sometimes even trust that I cannot trust you. You know what I'm saying? But in this case, don't take my word for it. Just go look at the things that I'm speaking upon. It doesn't matter if a, the scum of the earth tells you the truth. The truth is still the earth, truth. I mean, you still may be the scum of the earth, but hey, you you can't say you that almost well. You're still scummy, but you're not the scum of the earth anymore. You know what I'm saying? And willing, God willing, you know, you won't be scummy at all. You know what I'm saying? But you got to give people the chance. Just like if, if in, you know, look, Edward Snowden, you goddamn E-I-E-I-O. You damn uh, uh, secret agent man, double O, spooky dookie. Uh, but when he defected and, and dropped all the materials, that title totally flipped to whistleblower. And he can... It's a, that's a noble thing when you see bad things happening it, 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 it you should put up the warning it says in the bible that if a watchman see danger and then warn not the brethren their blood is on his hands yeah this isn't a self-preservation thing here it's got to be either we all survive or we can individually be conquered so i mean that's at some point you people got to abandon your petty egotistical fight with the other people you know what i'm saying with the people you do not approve with because of physical skin deep surface level things but yet because of skin deep surface level things you will ignore the deeper inner things that that be important but you'll you'll focus on the unimportant to dismiss the important that is not wise man that is uh that is foolish you know what i'm saying so so it as much as this is is an examination of everything and every, everything around me, it's also a self-examination as well. How much has this around me corrupted this? And if it has, how do I 
snap out of it. You know what I'm saying? These are the questions that we all have to uh, answer for ourselves. You know, but we can get help from others, though.